In this tutorial, we are going to create a drag and drop text question. So in the settings block, go down to question bank and select the option called questions. Always be sure that you have your category selected first and then click create a new question. In this particular one, we're going to be selecting the drag and drop into text item. The question name is for you, the teacher. Remember, the students never see the question name. So this is about the book Holes, and this is question one from that book. And then in the question text, you are going to enter your information. And every place that you want a blank for the students to drag the information up to fill in the blank, you will put a double bracket with a number followed by a double bracket. Let me fill in this information and show you what I mean. So you see, my question is, Stanley is arrested for stealing, and I want them to remember what he stole. So I'm putting a bracket bracket, this is my first question, bracket bracket. So remember, those are the square brackets, not the squiggly ones. And then I just continue on, and I just write the sentence, and wherever I want a blank, I put the double brackets, use the next consecutive number, and then end with the double brackets. So this is the way your question could look. Or you could write them on each line, or there's a variety of ways to do it. But this is the first example I'm going to show. Don't forget your default marks. I have six blanks, so I'm going to give one point per question. So I'll have six marks. In the choices, I recommend shuffling them unless you're going to list these numbers in an odd order, because if you don't put shuffle, the choices will automatically be listed in the order that the blanks appear. And then you fill in your options. So you can see that I now have the options listed under the choices, and they correspond with the numbers back up in the text. Now, you may want more options to make sure the students really know what they're talking about. So you can always click blanks for three more choices and list more choices until you have enough options that fill your requirements. For this particular question, you will leave them all set as group one because they all go with the same set of questions. The infinite checkbox would mean that once the student would drag the word tennis shoe up to one of the blanks, the word tennis shoe would remain in the options so that they could drag it in another location. It would be infinitely available to them. If you want it so that when they drag the phrase tennis shoe up to the blank, that it will no longer appear at the bottom, then leave the infinite unchecked. Next, once you've got all the items listed, just scroll to the bottom and select Save Changes. Here is my question, and I will do a preview to see what it's like. And now, when we move the options up to the blanks, because I did not check the infinite box, it is gone. If I had checked the infinite box, this item would stay down here so the student could put it in another place if they wanted. And that's how you create a drag and drop text question.